This is uh, uh, these are cereal sections and chicken burial in uh, stage beyond organogenesis. So uh, because the anterior or cephalic region of the chicken burial is folded, it forms uh, a figure C or a letter C. And so the earlier transverse sections and the convexity of the C will appear just like that. The convexity shown by the transverse section of the folded embryo shows here a one limb of the C, which is the middle brain, the mesencephalon. And this is the other limb showing the metencephalon. And you can see caudal to the metencephalon or dorsal to the metencephalon. This is the telechoroidy of the loop of the myelin. And you can see that between the midbrain and metencephalon is another region through deficiency of the neuronal tissue representing the region of the rhombensephalic plasma. So I will pass to the next serial section, which is more caudal transverse section in the C-shaped chief embryo beyond organogenesis. Again, this transverse section shows the convexity of the C-shaped head region. On one side, it shows a limb of the U-shaped embryo, which is the early diencephalon. While on the other side, it shows the myelencephalon. And this is the root of the myelencephalon, showing the small region of the telechoroid. Along these parts of the nervous system, we can see a section into the nutter cord, which is ventral to the neural tube. In this size it appears in continuity because of the transverse section and the C-shaped configuration. Also, we can see that this is the otic vesicle, although we didn't talk about the ear development yet, but from now, you can see that this is the ear physical or the otic physical. And what is anterior to the ear physical, this is the ganglion of the seventh and eighth cranial nerve, the acoustical facialis ganglia. More anterior to this ganglia, this is the ganglia of the trigeminal nerve. Both the acoustical facialis and trigeminal nerve ganglia are anterior to the otic physical or ear physical. Posterior to the ear physical, we can see the ganglia of the nine and the ganglia of the tenth cranial nerve. I will pass to a more transverse, more total transverse section of this mature status of chicken embryo, which is this one. Again, on one side of the U-shaped embryo, I can see the neural tube, which is monocephalon. On the side of it is the cicleratone, and that is the dermomyotone. Because the first thing goes on is the neural tube, so ventral to the neural tube, this is not a core. And ventral to the not a core, these are the dorsal aorta. The dorsal aorta here are bilateral because we are in the head region. When we will pass to the caudal section in the trunk, the dorsal aorta will be a single dorsal aorta because the bilateral dorsal aorta will fuse in the midline in caudal section in the trunk. The vessel, which is this one, lateral to the dorsal aorta on that side and that side, 
is a cardinal vein. And because we are in the head region, this is the anterior cardinal vein. Also, this section shows the ganglia of the nine lambda-tantic renal nerve. And also, the section shows the tissue blocks on the side of the neck, which are the pharyngeal arches. You know that these tissue blocks on the side of the neck are divided by grooves from inside, which are grooves from the pharynx lined by endoderm that are called pharyngeal pouches. This is a pharyngeal pouch, and that is a pharyngeal pouch. Also that and that, all of these are pharyngeal pouches. But from outside, the pharyngeal arches, which are tissue blocks, are separated by grooves from the ectoderm from outside, which are called pharyngeal clefts or branchial cleft. That is a cleft, that is another cleft. Also we have, this is a pharyngeal cleft and that is another cleft. Also I can see in these tissue blocks, the pharyngeal arches, there are arteries. This is an artery and that is an artery, which are idiotic arteries. Each of these tissue blocks of pharyngeal arches have its own cranial nerve and have its own artery and this, these are the aortic arches seen on that side. The pharynx, which is this one, giving the pharyngeal pouches, is separated from the oral cavity, which is this one, by the oral plate, which is the book of pharyngeal membrane that should rupture the oral. So this is the remnant of the book of pharyngeal membrane or oral plate. And here is the pharynx, while well, this is the stomodial cavity. The oral stomodial cavity shows an extension, which is this one, that is Rathke's part. It was on the anterior pituitary. And I can see that on the other side of the U-shaped embryo, this is the diencephalon, giving infundibulum that will form the posterior pituitary, while Rathke's part will form the anterior pituitary. The section also shows cardinal veins, which are this one and that one. And we thought we are in the head region again. This is an anterior cardinal vein. Also, this is the carotid artery. Down there and down there and down there. All of these are carotid arteries. But these are cardinal veins. I will post pass more caudal in the transverse section of this much mistake. Again. First thing, dorsally, is the neural tube. Ventral to it is the notochord. The neural tube here is a spinal cord because we are in the trunk. And because we are in the trunk, the first thing, dorsally, is the spinal cord. Next to it is the notochord. Ventral to the notochord, this is a single dorsal aorta. The dorsal aorta in the head region is bilateral in the trunk. The bilateral dorsal air just fuse, fuse into a single dorsal air. On the side of the notochord and neural tube, this is the ciclerotone on that side and that side. And then we have the dermal monotone. Ventral to the dorsal air, this is the gut tube. For gut tube. And these are the cardinal veins. The cardinal veins are ventral and lateral to the dorsal air. And ventral to the gut tube, this is the heart. On the other side of the transverse section, the other limb of the U-shape called the embryo could be seen. It shows the diencephalon and the primordium of the eye. This is the optic cup and the lens physical. I will pass to a more total transverse section into this mature status of envy. This is it. Again, the first thing globally is the neural tube, which is spinal cord, then protrude is the muscle cord, long portion is spherotome and dermomyotome. Here the stain is uh, faint because of photofading of the stain. So the first thing, neural tube, which is spinal cord, ventral to it is the notochord. Ventral to the notochord is a single dorsal aorta. Ventral to the aorta is a gut. And you can see that this is the esophagus, 
and we can see what from the respiratory diverticulum and lung, but that will be considered with the GIT and respiratory system. <coughs> then to the gut. This is the heart. And on the other side of the U-shaped embryo, this is the diaphragm. Here in the head region, I can see that the ventral aspect of the head shows thickening of the ectoderm on that side and that side, which is the olfactory plecor that will form the olfactory pit given right to the middle of the ventral. More color section. Again, the first thing dorsally is the neural tube, which is spinal cord. Ventral to it is the nocturnal cord. Ventral to it is the dorsal aorta. On the side and ventral to the dorsal aorta are cardinal veins. And these are the posterior cardinal veins because we are in the trunk. Then ventral to the dorsal aorta, this is the gut, which is suspended by mesentery. The ventral mesentery of the gut contains a liver. This is the liver. And this is a big duct in the liver, which is ductus venosus, conveying the blood from the umbilical vein directly into the intervenous heart. Ventral to the liver, this is the heart. And on the other side of the U-shaped embryo, this is the uh, mesencephalon. I will pass more into a color section. Here, the coda section will not be in the C, it will be in the trunk only. So we will see the neural tube, which is spinal cord surgery. On the side of it are the sclerotome and the myotome. Ventral to the neural tube, this is the nocturnal cord. Ventral to the nocturnal cord, this is the dorsal aorta. And you can see primordia of the kidney system starting to appear in the section. And so, uh, this is the cardinal vein also on that side, and that is also a cardinal vein. That's all for today. the mid sector section. I can guess that this is the mid because the cavity of the central nervous system is clearly seen. So this is the telencephal and that is the diencephal. This is the uh, infantibulum of the diencephal and this is the remnant of the raptis pouch in the section. This is the tongue Primordium, and that is the heart primordium. Again, a mid sector section, telencephalon, diencephalon. You can see in this section. Clearly the infantibulum, and that is the right piece pouch from the oral stomachial cavity. This is the middle brain, Just look to the layers of the uh, brain. You have neuroepithelium. Heart. 
This is the primordium of the dose of the aorta, filled with blood and surgical section. And these are the scleroderm and dermomyotome. This is the kidney system and surgical section. 